Hey, good morning. Jill here. Hope you have a good week, and I hope you had a good weekend, and be blessed in the Lord. Uh, I like faithful workouts for working out, and they say, if you're listening to this, and that means you have another day, and God has given you another day. So this Luke Sketchbook by Jill Mockingbird. I've done 15 books so far. I'm working on about four books left. I'm not the best YouTuber, but I hope it helps you. It helps me to read out the Bible. So we're on page 93 and we talked about Jesus saying, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has demanded to have you that he might sift you like wheat. So I got, and here's Satan sifting uh, Peter like wheat. And I looked up sieve, S-I-E-V, or sifter, and it says separating the solids and the um, pout, the flour. So I guess the Satan wants to steal, kill, and destroy. So we must resist him. And he wants to sift us like wheat. So here's my upside down sifter. And it's an old guy. I think I got it at a yard sale or something. So put the wheat and the flour, chaff, I guess, and mix it up. Separate the solids from the powdery form. So Satan wants to sift us like wheat, but be strong and resist him. So he sent out the disciples two by two. Luke twenty two thirty five, And he said to them, When I sent you out with no money bag or knapsack or backpack or sandals, did you lack anything? Did you need anything? I gave you no money bag or wallet, no knapsack or backpack, no sandals. Did you need anything? They answered, nothing, said the disciples. So when I sent you out with no money bag or knapsack or sandals, did you lack anything? Nothing. God provides. But now let the one who has a money bag take it and likewise a knapsack. So take a money bag and a knapsack. And let the one who has no sword, sorry about my shadow, let me move this bowl. And let the one who has no sword sell his cloak and buy one. Sell your cloak and buy a sword. This looks like a feather, but it's a sword. So now I think it's more intense time. So sell your cloak and buy a sword. I tell you that, for I tell you that this scripture must be fulfilled in me. And he was numbered with the transgressors, with the sinners. For what is written about me has its fulfillment. So this is all going to accumulate with Jesus' crucifixion. Isaiah, the past prophet, thousands, thousands of years ago, said, And he was numbered with the transgressors, with the sinners. Jesus, and then he's talking about Jesus. He's fulfilling a prophecy. For what is written about me has its fulfillment. And they said, Lord, look, here are two swords. And he said to them, it is enough. Scripture fulfilled. Jesus will be with the sinners. And they have two swords. And Jesus said, it is enough. So I really need to draw out all of Luke's sketchbook. Mark's sketchbook has every verse. Luke twenty three fifty. Now behold, there was a man named Joseph, a council member, a good man, and just man, I'm about to lose storage. 